Hello, gamers. <laughs> I'm gonna start. <laughs> I'm gonna start in, in, introing my streams like that. Hello, all gamers. What's up? I see Dan is in here. You know, the rare occurrence of Dan. I don't know why. Why is Dan not a mod? That's the real question. Hold up. All right, um, but yeah, we're here. We're gonna continue our fisting quest, but before we get into fisting, you guys know what time it is. You know what time it is. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to donate for free. This is one of the best ways to do it and one of the best ways to support me on Twitch. So get ready for this. You're in the chat, right? You see this little icon right here next to the emote icon. You click on it, boom. We are now in the bit section. And most of you, if you don't know how to donate bits, you'll see this, you'll have zero bits. Click on get bits, all right? Now you can obviously pay for them, but we want it to, we want to do it for free, okay? Get ready, boom, watch ad, continue. And then you just watch an ad and you get bits. Can you believe it? That's all you gotta do. And after you get your bits, you just take whatever bits you have, you type in cheer, Say you have 15 bits, you type in 15 bits, boom, there you go. That's how you get bits for free. That's how you support the channel for free. Th thank you, Game Raiders, for your information. You know, I should probably make a new uh, bit ad eventually. Detailing specifics, for example, like you can only get it in America. Unless you have a VPN. And another example, you can only get it on PC. Because I don't know why Twitch took it off mobile. I don't know. Say hi to me. What's up? It's Sam. Is that your name? And this for the five bit smart pal. All right. So yeah, we're back here in the fist character. Now we're pretty much at the wall of flesh, right? Yeah, pretty much. So the goal is to be the wall of flesh this episode or this stream. But first things first. I don't know what I was gonna say. Oh yeah. I, okay. I know. I remember. I want to fight the brain of Cthulhu. But how do we do that? <laughs> That's the real question. Should I just go to a whole new world? Or like, I don't know. I could, like, try and make a whole... That's going to take too long, though. To make our own... Uh, our own... What's it called? Crimson? It's going to take too long. So, there has to be a way... Is there, like, an easy way to get, you know, crimson seeds? Grass seeds? Or what? Is it only like only with corrupt seeds? Come on, bro. Hey, let me know if the audio is good, if I'm too loud, or if the game's too quiet. Let me know. I need to turn up the volume because I can't hear anything. These are 10 bits. Mom, mama Bean. Oh, yeah. Mama Bean. I don't know what that means. I think for the five bits, Terraria fan. All right. <clears throat> so she, she sells a bloody spine. No problem. But she doesn't sell crimson seeds. Where the crimson seeds at, man? How goes the day? The day goes good. But yeah, uh, there should be a video tomorrow. I have the video set up. Um, should be a good video. I don't know if you were in my Discord when I talked about it. You, you probably already know about it. Oh, if, can we buy a vanilla treasure bag? <gasps> It's perfect. No, wait. I don't know if this works this way. Because, damn, this costs a lot of money. Because I think you have to kill the boss to get that treasure bag. So I think the easiest way. Ooh, crimson blocks, though? Hold up. This might work. We might be able to just do it like that by placing a bunch of crimson blocks. I think that might be the way to go. But yeah, but the how the fist character works in terms of, like, accessories and stuff... You have to kill a boss with a fist weapon and it'll drop the fist successor. That's what it said on the wiki. So we can't just buy a treasure bag. I think we're a five bit smart pal. Uh, I guess, yeah, let's just go with this and then just make a very big arena or something. I'm going for it. 
200? Uh, actually, I don't, know. I don't know if that will be enough. I don't know if that will be enough. All right, where should we make this? Where should we make I'm feeling like over here would probably be a good spot. Like somewhere in the air over there. Because that seems like a nice open space. Play Roblox free hacks working 2014 infinite Robux. Sounds pretty good. Infinite Robux. Okay. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Bless up. Alright. And thanks for the five bits. So if you guys don't know how much uh, bits are worth. A single bit is worth one cent. I know it's crazy. Big ballers out here. Okay. We're gonna go as high up. Okay, maybe not as high up, but we're gonna go high enough to where it won't be a problem. Like it won't won't bother us at all. Cause we're probably gonna leave it here. You never know when we need the corruption in the or crimson in the future. There you go. That seems good. Let's just start building a nice arena here. I think like, oh shit, wasn't paying attention. What if I just do it like this? Ooh, a little bit easier. Look at this. Does the brain need a crimson biome to spawn? Yeah, I think so. I think if you just spawn the brain of Cthulhu, in a non-crimson biome, it just runs away, I think. Maybe it insta-kills you, I don't know. I haven't really tested it. Oh, this is looking like this is enough. You know, if uh, we already got face, what are they called? Face monsters? Monster, whatever. If we got them spawning already, you know, that's, that's like already a good thing. Okay. I, I'm not hearing any music, but I'm assuming this might be enough. I, I don't know. I, I don't have a lot of experience with this. <laughs> you guys think it's enough? Or should I build more just to be just to be a hundred percent sure that we're good? Because you know that face monster spawns, so like that already has me thinking that we're in the clear. But I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Build a little more. Build more. Okay. We'll do a little bit more. That has to be. More than enough. Let's do 130. No, let's do 150. 150 blocks. You know what I should do? I should break all these pumpkins. So they're just not in the way. Because, you know, as cool as, cool as pumpkins are, they're low key kind of ugly when they're out of season. They just look like it's just a bunch of orange uh, balls everywhere. Damn, pumpkins can grow in water like that? I didn't even know that. Okay. We're going to stuff these in there. We're also going to buy the uh, spine. Just so we have it already. Rather be safe than sorry. That's facts, honestly. Spine. Is it co still called spine? Red stained spine. Yes. Perfect. Mmm, spinal fluid. Interesting. These are 10 bits... Uh, understands and then things are 96 bits lightning with a kappa <laughs> kappa 96 okay let's do a little bit more this way actually maybe I should make it like one block thicker because I don't think it matters in terms of size I think it just matters how many blocks are placed Something like that. Come down here. See what happens. Boom. That boy got uppercutted into a different dimension. Him too. God damn. Oh, this is definitely crimson now. We can hear it. We can hear the music bumping. So that has to be more than enough. Speed. And thanks for the Twitch Prime sub Meep Derpy. 
appreciate that. Okay, this has to be good enough now. Because look how many enemies are spawning. We get a lot of enemies spawning. That means it has to be good. Let's do it. If these are five bits. Understands. Alright, you guys ready for this? I hope we can do this. Easily. I don't have any potions. But I'm going to just assume we don't. We're not going to need them. Because like... He's a pretty easy boss. Spawns in, he pretty much gives you health. Or it pretty much gives you health. Which is something I've noticed with both the Eater and obviously the Brain of Cthulhu. They both give you health. Which makes them a very easy boss and you can kind of take them off. Take them on a lot earlier. Than like expected to. Because of that just like self- not even self. They heal you. They don't heal themselves. They heal you. But there you go. That's what I wanted was that impaling tooth. Impaling tooth. So what this does. Hurting enemies has a chance to spawn a heart. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We might use it. I'm not actually 100% 100% sure. We might. Let me just look at all my other accessories and just like compare. Just to make sure. Why was he banned? He's not getting banned. He's just typing in his name color. <laughs> These are 10 bits. What's your favorite ride at Disney? Um, probably Guardians of the Galaxy. That was really fun. That or probably Space Mountain. It was really cool too. Alright. What is this magical pumpkin seed that's not even worth making okay so we have this obviously we need this because it gives us health reduces combo power cost ah, we could probably get rid of that oh the banner regen honestly we can get rid of too yeah i think we get rid of the banner regen hurting an enemy hurting enemies has a chance to spawn a heart like that's just pretty good now before we fight the wall of flesh. Damn, this is gonna be this is gonna be hard to fight the wall of flesh. <laughs> this is gonna be kinda hard. This is my this is gonna be my first time fighting the wall of flesh on a fist character. So let, let me just think this out a little bit here. Obviously, we're gonna need a long arena. Number one. Very very long and open arena. So this this might be, I don't know, this is going to be interesting. We can't do what I usually do, which is I usually make, use mine carts. We can't do that. So we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned hell bridge way. So that's what we're going to do. I haven't, I haven't introduced the, tro the statues to everyone. So if you type in, if someone in the chat types in exclamation point statue, you probably notice, hey, thanks for the five business neons. You probably notice all these statues here. And uh, if you donate five dollars, you get your name, not only your name, but you get a statue of your choice and we'll build it towards the end of the stream. Or if you just donate two dollars, which is the minimum, you just get your name. The only person who's donated two dollars for their statue was this person right here. You can't even see their name. How come you can't see statue letters on the whatever? It says Mufa. Shout out Mufa for donating to the only person to have just his name as a statue. And no full statue. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's figure out what we want to make this bridge out of. It was going to be the fastest way. Obviously, the fastest way is probably going to be using the Doom Cannon from the Juice Mod and blowing everything up. And then, I don't know, just building a floor. It doesn't really matter what floor we use. It can literally be made out of anything. Right? There's no, like, yeah, there's no floor. There's no asphalt in pretty hard mode. Is there like a cool block and build it out of flesh? <laughs> That's an expensive hell bridge. Oh, God. This is a really cool block. Meteorite brick? That's a cool block. I might have to do a future character with that. Because that is a sweet ass brick. I've been watching you for a while now and just thought to sub. More of YouTube. Hope you get to 100,000 soon. And this is not 100 bits in the kind of words for Meep Derpy. The road to 100k 
still begins. Hopefully, you know, it'd be crazy if I hit 100k while I'm at Disney. I don't think it's going to happen, but that'd be cool. I'm going to try my best to schedule a bunch of videos, like I said, for Disneyland. Because I think I'm going to be gone like 18th to the 22nd or something like that. Four or five days. So, uh, I'll try and figure something out. Why is this tag this horror? I don't know. <laughs> those tags, I don't even remember putting in any of those tags. They just kind of appeared. Maybe when I like switch the game title. Or not game title. The game itself. It changes all the tags. So what's a block I have a lot of? Probably just wood. You know what? We're going to get a lot of ash, aren't we? So why not just use ash? Okay, so we'll do that. But at the same time, we kind of need to make a elevator or instavator. So let us do that. We need 15 dynamite, 10 ropes. What is it called? Rope coil and then a bunch of torches. Got it. So we just need 40 torches, 40 more torches, 15 dynamite rope coils. Boom. So this is why I saved my rope. I saved my rope specifically for this right here to make these rope coils for this. Dynamite, we have to buy dynamite, which might be a little bit expensive. It would be nice if we can get our hands on some cash and reforge all our accessories, but I don't think it's going to happen. That's not an easy task. What's up? Derp yogurt. Thanks for five bits, Dan. I had to turn on my computer, sign in Twitch to get these bits, so I demand a triangle. I mean, like a, tri a triangle? It is kind of like a triangle. It's like a sideways one. All right. Um, who am I talking to? What NPC do I need to talk to? I need to talk to the demo. There he is. Belden. 15, right? Boom. Dirt platforms. Yeah, I could do that. That's a, that's a smart one. Okay. Uh, Instavator. No, real quick. Oh, what? I still can't make it. What am I missing? Oh, I miscounted the torches, bro. I don't know how to count. Instavator. Stop dashing. Oh, my God. <laughs> There you go, and then let's go ahead. Dirt, dirt platforms. I mean, can I make a good bit? Which we're gonna need a good bit like this. It's probably gonna be one of my better wall of flesh arenas because, like, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. Hello, how did you get in here? How does an ant line fit in here? Let's do, uh, I don't even know where should, we should do the incubator. Probably over here to the right. Over here to the right somewhere. There's a nice little area to put it, like right here. Let's do it. Boom. Perfect. And now we go down to the bottom. Wait, I should buy the anvil, shouldn't I? Okay, let me buy the anvil. What mount do I have right now? That's the real question. I'm gonna guess I still have the scooter? Actually, no, I might have the B. I do have the B. Boom. Wait, is this not a home? This room is missing a wall. Oh, it's missing the platforms on this side. I didn't even notice that. Right, there you go. <laughs> Super anvil. It's time to hit the bottom, baby. <laughs> God damn, like a bullet. Oh, shit, we're going to. <laughs> I'm meant to stop like right here. Right here should be good. I don't like that. That slime made that jump. Oh, he's gone. That slime is gone. He ain't never coming back. He's out of here. 
Maybe I should get rid of this guy. Ooh, spine breaker. Let's do this. We're gonna place wooden or dirt platforms right here. And thanks for the 50 bits. Yo, is Louis AFK on? Try spamming the platform builders. Oh shit. I do have it on. Was it called platform builder? What does it look like? It looks like a platform, probably. Damn, all these look the same. Well, you know, I'd probably been smarter if I searched up builders. All these enemies want to bother me. Like every time I build into it, bro, some some enemy has to bother me. Boom! Another reason why I don't build. Because they don't want they don't want to see me building out here. Sixty? What the fuck is that? Sapphire torches? <laughs> I'm gonna make 60 sapphire torches. It's a lot of sapphire. Okay. So this is gonna be the goal with clearing out the area down here. Is we're gonna take, boom, the doom cannon. And we're literally just gonna blow everything up. You can use any torches. I, I hope so. Get all of this out of here, bro. This is how we make room to fight the wall of flesh. We just launch this everywhere. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're gonna end up like flooding the place with lava eventually. Like, I feel like we need room, you know, above us, below us, everywhere. Well, that was perfect. That was, that was a good, good shot right there. <laughs> that was a good shot. It's kind of dark down here, man. Who would have thought? It's dark in hell. Well, like, there's a lot of lava, so I feel like it wouldn't be that dark. Just any torches? All right, we'll try it out after. Oh, look. Is this thing rare? I always see people on the Juice uh, Discord complaining about finding the stuff for the legendary weapons. Because they're supposed to be hard to find because they're legendary. Oh, dipping myself in lava. You know, I feel like taking a quick hot bath. The Doom Cannon shoots the chat's anchor. I think you dual wheel Doom Cannons. That's gonna hit something, right? Barely. <laughs> it didn't even go through the whole thing. I'm gonna keep spinning this cannon, though. Look at that shit. <laughs> hey, yay, hey, yay, hey, yay. Hey. There we go. Ooh, where'd that lava come from? What the hell? Where did that lava come from? Did I kill a slime? I think I killed a slime. <sighs> get him, get him. I'm trying to get him before he teleported. We got his ass. What the hell? There's another one. These dudes coming out of nowhere. At some point, I didn't know what the Doom Cannon did and fully charged it at my base. Yeah, I didn't know what it did either. But luckily, I didn't aim it at my base. The, I think the, the clip of me shooting the Doom Cannon for the first time somewhere on Twitch... It kind of destroyed my, like, arena that I had set up. Or whatever arena. Alright. Look at this, though. That's a lot of room we've cleared. We've cleared room from here to there. So it's looking good. Wall of Flesh, you know, this might be an easy fight. You never know. Definitely the hardest thing I'm thinking against the Wall of Flesh is going to be is... You know, the Fist character is a primarily single target damage character. As you can see, I attack something, I'm focusing on... Just attacking that one thing over and over again. So that's the part I'm worried about the most is like... Th that's the part I'm always worried about with the wall flesh. Is the hungry and all that. The leeches he shoots out. Like all of that. That stuff gets in the way. Like it really gets in the way. If you don't have piercing on certain characters against the wall of flesh. It's like you're fucked. You're fucked unless you get really good aim or have a really good angle on him. I got a lot of experience with getting fucked in the ass by the wall of flesh.
No homo. No wall of wall of flesh. He's like a, it's like a dark horse. You know, you don't expect him to be that hard. But sometimes he's kind of hard. It really depends how much you prepare. And I find myself a lot of time over preparing for the wall of flesh, and just like dominating him. But sometimes I find myself under prepared. It's either I'm over prepared against the wall of flesh or I'm under prepared. And like I never know like the middle or the perfect amount of being pre prepared. Because if I like barely beat him, like I consider that under prepared. If you barely beat the wall of flesh, like I've had a couple times where I've barely beaten him. <laughs> the wall of fuckery. Worst part is the lasers fist are terrible against them, especially in expert mode. What is that noise? Something's getting attacked. <laughs> what does this do? Grants warmth. Buff. Uh, do I need to be carrying these around? Uh, they don't really help out too much. Alright, the good thing is we can sell a bunch of this stuff. Okay, most of it doesn't even have a value. Living gore. You know what? I'll keep the, the paintings. <laughs> You know, the paintings, they'd be nice to put in some of my houses for my NPCs. I gotta build the houses, like actual houses for my NPCs. I feel kind of bad for them. I just never get around to building. I never get around to building in Turia in general. Building in any game, if I'm being honest. I just be lazy to build. <laughs> lazy, I have no inspiration to build. Whole bunch of, a whole bunch of aspects. Don't sell that. I was about to sell that for some reason. Uh, let's do this. We're going to put those in there. And I guess we can put the bombs there. Okay. What else do we need? Should we start building, make this platform thing? What is this platform thing? Torches, builder potion, bunch of wood. Okay, got it. I just beat the wall of peepees. That's a new DLC. When you beat the wall of flesh, you beat the meat. Yeah, now that I think about it, you're like you're not wrong about that. It's kind of nasty. Can I place the sapling anywhere? It's not giving me anywhere to place it. Um, let's buy some wood. It's gonna be easier to just buy a bunch of wood. Now, what was the other thing we needed to buy? Torches. Torches. Let me talk to Humphrey here. Get some torches. How many torches? Those 60. And then we need a builder's potion. AKA one of the shittiest potions in the game. I didn't see very many people talking about the builder's potion being good when I shit talked it in the tier list video. So that's how you know it's ass. Because it literally only gives you plus one range. <laughs> hey, you can place walls a little bit faster, but who the hell cares about that? Is an accessory to do that. So what am I doing? That's low key a fist weapon. See, this is what I was thinking. Like, should I include weapons that are pretty much fist weapons? For example, evisceration. Should we include the fetid bang, bang? What are they called? Bagnaws, bagnox. When we get to them, because there's a couple of fist weapons. From other mods, but they're not exactly, you know, the same exact fist weapons. But they're pretty much the same thing at the same time, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. There we go. Arena Builder. Oh, look at this. We get to choose how far it goes, too. That's nice. I like that. Right click to choose options. Obviously. Uh, yeah, turn all that on. Let's do, uh, let's do, what's an exotic wood? What you guys think? What should we make our platforms out of? What's a nice exotic wood? Wait a minute. This... 
It's not a good idea. <laughs> Who thought of this idea? This is kind of a bad idea now that I think about it. There's something called a, a magma slimes. Whatever the hell they're called. They're kind of very destructful. Destructful. Destru destructive. Let's see, look, I'm typing in destructive. They're kind of really destructive in terms of uh, platforms. But, you know, I guess we'll, we'll, do, we'll do it for now. Boreal, mahogany, rich mahogany, palm tree, pearl palm. See, this shit's all over the place. I see mahogany a lot. We'll do mahogany. Is Fury Forge in here? I didn't see him. If he's in here, I didn't see him. <laughs> Yeah, let's hope this works. Because if this doesn't work, we ban all the people that said it. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. We still need to make more room, obviously. Oh, that music. Some nice music right there that played for a second. Can I do a little bit lower? A little bit lower? A little bit. One, one block lower. No? Alright, it's fine. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? This built really weird. <laughs> wow, that built really weird. Okay, let's not do it lights on. What do the bubbles even do? It's for people that fucking use the truffle, but the truffle's ass and they can't accept it. Me, let me fix this up a little bit. No, wouldn't it be smarter to do it like this? Oh God, I'm losing gray bricks. They're falling too far for me to catch them. Leave me alone, bro. Look at this. I just try and build for like a couple seconds. It's just like a couple seconds. Like literally a couple seconds of just building. You know, let me get some peace and ser or serenity. Motherfuckers come out of nowhere and attacking me. Yeah, this bridge was ass cheeks. What the hell? It doesn't build over, like, debris and stuff. Spam the arena builder. So, like, spam it in one spot. Maybe I should, like, go down one side and do it. Well, the thing is, I need to clear out the area first before I just start spamming it. It built it above it? This thing sucks. Who told me to use this garbage? <laughs> Why does it not build at your feet? Now we gotta break all of these. Oh, and it broke every single one. All right, well, I'm gonna just toss that in the trash, honestly. <laughs> that thing is absolute garbage in the way it works. That shit can go in the garbage. See, now we wasted time doing this. Well, we could have just been working on the arena normally. All right, back to what I was doing. See, sometimes, you know, manual labor is a lot better than, you know, trying to take the easy out, the easy way out. What is the name of the vein miner mod? It's literally vein miner mod. You suck at using it? You can ban him if you guys want. Ban him for like a day or something. For his garbage ass suggestion, now we gotta wait like fucking an extra 10, 20 minutes. Okay, not that long. But I gotta go break all these platforms because they're gonna get in the way. Keep on falling in lava, bro. <laughs> it's gonna be a bad idea, anyways, because look. Look at that. One fucking lava slime destroyed like seven platforms. So that's why it was a bad idea in the other place I was talking about it. I knew that lava slimes were gonna completely destroy everything if you kill one of them. Don't jump up here. He can, that lava slime can definitely jump up here. Don't do it. Stay your ground, lava slime. Yeah, I should really get like an obsidian potion. <laughs> oh, what was that? It didn't charge up all the way? Damn. 
Oh, no, I'm gonna go buy an obsidian potion. This is all kinds of bad now. I don't know if I'll fight Turkor. Because Consolaria has a really big problem in terms of, like, drop rate on its, uh, stuff. On its spawning, boss spawning stuff. So, like, I really don't know if I want to sit there and fight Harpies for, like, 30 minutes trying to get it. Obsidian? Why does Obsidian Potions only have a... Oh, shit, why did I do that? Why do Obsidian Potions only have a 40... But not for four minute duration. Now that OP should be like a 10 minute, five minute at least, at least round it to five. Five would have been a nice number. All right, now we're good. We don't got to worry about getting dipped in lava every five seconds or getting hurt from dipping myself in lava. Why's there gonna be a shadow chest right there? Can you back up, sir? Call this bat a sir. <laughs> Get out of here. I'll take this hellstone while I'm at it. Traveling merchant stuck on the snowflake. I'm pretty sure traveling merchant doesn't have anything for me to buy, hopefully. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I really wanted to kill him. He was getting in the way I, you know, I had to put him out of his misery. They should change water walking potions names to liquid walking potions. Because you can walk on all liquid. Now, who the hell uses a water walking potion on water? Come on. Lava is like the best use. It's not too many times I need to walk on water. By, uh, by the time you walk on water, you probably get got like the lava waiters, honestly. Moist walking boots? Yeah, that could work too. Moisture walking boots. <laughs> What's the vein mine mod? It's vein mine. I told you already. You're literally saying the name out loud. <laughs> like, you you could have just looked for it. You could have went on Google, type in Terraria vein mine mod. You would have found it. Like a lot of a lot of the time people always like leave comments like asking me like what's the name of this mod? What's the name of that mod? It's like just Google search it. You can find it. It takes you like a couple seconds. <laughs> like when's if I never reply to your comment and you ask me that? Well, you would have been fucked. <laughs> you would have been just sitting there like damn what's the name of that vein miner mod? My favorite one's when people ask me like what's the name of the boss health bar mod? It's like it's the boss health bar mod. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Like next time, like most of you in the chat, you know, you're waiting for me to reply to you. Maybe you just want me to say something to reply to you. Maybe that's why. I kept on dashing instead of breaking that torch. What does the vein mine mod do? It uh, vein it mines and veins. There you go. I'm getting pissed off by these fucking enemies. They keep spawning every time I kill these two bats. Two more spawn. Okay, there you go. We're going over here. We blasting this. Damn, dude. These shadow chests low key getting in the way. What is the elevator mod? Uh, Fargo's mod adds in the instavator. Actually, no, Louis AFK adds one too. So you can use either or, either or. I feel like making your own elevator is like super annoying unless you do it with bombs. Some dude was telling me, he was like, the mining potion should be S tier because you make elevators with it. I'm like, who the fuck mines their own elevators? You know how long that takes? I haven't mined my own elevator since like the first time I played Terraria. It takes forever to mine from surface to the bottom. Oh my god. Like, a lot of people, when they're, like, giving me their opinions about, like, certain potions being S tier and A tier, their, like, situations that they put the potions in were super specific. They're like, I do this with a water walking potion, so that's why I think it's S tier. It's like, damn, that's about it, though, don't you think? <laughs> 
and you know a lot of potions are is oh god our obsidian potions will pour off a lot of potions are extremely like situational like the the magic ones for example like the mana regen and then the magic power one super situational if you're not a mage character they're fucking ass <laughs> it's just facts but if you are a mage character oh, they're for sure s tier uh, I feel like it's weird that the mage class has its own pretty much set of potions. You know what I, I mean, I guess melee kind of has its own set of potions. Like knockback. I don't know. Does the knockback potion work on... Works on everything, right? Well, I don't know. Does it, would it work on like summons? All this room today yeah the archery archery does have its own yeah i guess there is a couple for each class but i feel like the magic ones are like way way better <laughs> overall you get regen and you get magic power like that's god tier the thing is with archery it's only for bows isn't it so if you're using a gun as a ranger it's like fucking me i guess Bows are pretty good too. Bows are pretty damn good in Terraria. Can just vein mine everything else. I'm tired of picking up these obsidian torches or demon torches. So many chests. Do I have a shadow key? I feel like I do have a shadow key. I don't know. I never checked. I am ending up with more obsidian skin potions than I started with. <laughs> oh shit. Damn, he didn't die from that punch? Wait, before we do this, let's do this. Take a lot of platforms everywhere too, let's break all those. the point of dark torches you know what i'm saying <laughs> the point of a torch is to light up the area and then you got these obsidian torches you barely see shit when you place them damn this one is a big piece of land okay it's not land. big structure right here i need to get rid of this that's not where I wanted to stand when I shot that, but you know, these bats were kind of forcing me there. Try this again. Let me get a better spot this time. Uh oh. Unless this guy has something to say. Oh, it resets the fucking thing. These enemies need to just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Nope. Nope, that bat is coming. Just, just stay right there. Just stay right there. Yes. Boom. This is a really big piece of land. Like, we need to get a shop down here, too. God. Leave me alone. That should be a good shot. A couple pieces of land, though, everywhere. We're sprinkled in. Trying to focus here. We we'll probably shoot this down. I'll shoot it down. Let me kill this bat first. And then we can shoot it down. I have a video idea. Alright, what's your video idea? Play Minecraft in Terraria? I actually have that idea written down. I've had it written down for a long time. I got a couple ideas of how I do I do it. But uh, we'll, we'll wait on it. When I finally figure it out. I should be getting my, uh, the camera my brother sent to me tomorrow. Yeah, I think tomorrow. Which is kind of pretty dope. You know, I might be able to, actually, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I can do. I don't have any, uh, ideas ready to go yet for the IRL video stuff. I have some, but there's still some other stuff that I need to get my hands on. Ooh, I don't have the obsidian skin on. 
Like, this is a lot of area we have for this boss, or, yeah, for this fight. Stop it. Let me just mine this. Let me just mine this. <laughs> That's a lot of area we got for this fight. It's really hard to tell, like, what area is clear because the walls are still there. We need, like, a wall version of the Doom Cannon, you know, one that breaks the walls. <laughs> All right, I'm going to sit here and read chat, so you better type in your messages you want me to read. Play Fortnite. Still waiting for vlog raiders. Maybe vlogging shit the hell. <laughs> Bro, you need to play some Minecraft. You got a voice to make it funny. Alright, here I got you. Watch this. I got this really interesting concept. Alright. People have never done it before, all right? So you go to my YouTube channel, all right? That's what you do. You go to my YouTube channel. You ready for this? So you go on my YouTube channel, all right? And you type this in. You ready? Wait for it to look. Oh, my God. He plays Minecraft? <laughs> what? It's almost like he's he just never played it before, and all these videos just came out of nowhere. Oh my god, it's fucking insane! What is that? You know, it's how like a Fortnite video got mixed in there somehow. How the hell does that even work? Oh my god, it's like they go all the way back, page seven, page seven, seven. <laughs> What the? Some of this ain't even Minecraft. What is this? I know I don't put Minecraft in the tags of these videos either. YouTube's weird ass sorting system. <laughs> There's some funny videos I'm seeing here. Look what is this? This is an OG Terraria season? Oh right, shit. You know how I know you suck? Because you're usually. Oh, that's fucked up, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to watch my own video anymore. You just told me I suck. I don't even want to. I don't even want to watch my own videos. He just told me I fucking suck. He said, "You know, you want to know how I know you suck." It's like, damn. Yeah, like y'all gotta peep, just go on my channel and search stuff up before you ask me if I've ever played a game or can I play a game because I'm more than likely have played it. You know, I've kind of been on YouTube for like. More than like these last couple months. I've been on YouTube since like 2009. <laughs> Given that I haven't, you know, like actually tried going hard on YouTube until like 2015, 2016. But like I've been in this in it for a minute. Y'all gotta recognize that. You go back on like a bunch, well actually a bunch of YouTubers now, they probably deleted like all their Minecraft videos. But I know a lot of YouTubers, you know, they started off as Minecraft people. Minecraft was the go-to, come on. Y'all acting like I don't play Minecraft. That one dude the other day who was like, have you ever played Skyrim? You, you seem like the person that, have never, that has never played it before. I'm like, what? <laughs> have I ever played Skyrim? What? What do you mean have I ever played Skyrim? Wait, why did I put those obsidian skin, obs skin, obs skin away? Alright, I'm going to commit to it. What am I committing to? Uh, fighting Turkor. Alright. I know, insanity. Insanity. So what we got to do, we got to find a Skyland, and then we got to fight a bunch of Harpies. That's the goal. And then we fight Turkor. Can we get a bit add? No. Let's get probably a battle potion would be good. Oh, didn't I have battle potions? I think I had battle potions. Whatever, it don't matter. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. All right, it is go time. We have not been to Sky Island yet. Yeah, we have not. So it's time to go find one. I zoomed out all the way. I hope so. I 
can't see anything. It's really dark. <laughs> Hopefully there's actually Sky Islands on like, you know, our last, our throwing character world. What's up, Jay Sean? Or Jay Shaw Gaming? Oh, there's a, there's a bird trying to attack me. Okay, so far, oh, there we go. Oh, it's an actual Sky Island, too. That's, that's like, kind of rare, low-key. Actual Sky Islands. Like, these usually, like, the garbage-ass water Sky Island. Those things are an abomination to Sky Islands. Shouldn't even be in the same area. I don't know. <laughs> I got every enemy but harpies are spawning. There you go. Bring it, harpies. Oh, God, this is going to be annoying. <laughs> a couple things that I don't like about the fish character is uh, air control is the number one thing that I don't like about the fish character. You move around too damn much when you're in the air. But, oh, well. What can you do? This is not, you know, a full class. It's a subclass. Let's understand that. It is a subclass. This is much like the uh, quote unquote alchemist class from the mod that shall not be spoken. You know, it's a subclass. You can call me Jay Shaw. Alright, man. <laughs> These are five bits. Are there po post Moon Lord fists? I'm not sure. I know there's a bunch of hard mode fists, I know the fists get really strong. This is, this is probably gonna be like the. Uh, what is it called? The Fisherman playthrough? Where it got extremely strong late game. Which is understandable because this is a modded class. Modded classes are usually supposed to be really strong. Just because, you know, they lack content. Not enough content to spread throughout. Obviously does not have enough, like, playtime to really balance around late game stuff. So they just make everything strong. Which I'm okay with. I like strong things. It makes my life easier. And thanks for the 5 bits memes and the 10 bits Minecraft. Send Bob and Vagine Gamers, please. I am starved. Nice. <laughs> I have a haircut on Tuesday. So maybe I can, since I get my camera, or I'm supposed to get the camera tomorrow. Maybe I should do like a before and after. I haven't gotten a haircut in for a minute. It's been a minute since I got a haircut. My head is going to be really cold. That's one thing I notice. When I don't get haircuts in a long time and I get a haircut, my head gets really cold. Just you feel all the air and everything. <laughs> See, this is what I was talking about, about not, how I don't want to fight Turquoise, because look how long this is taking. So, tur Turquoise spawn has a chance to drop from these guys. Or from the Harpies. From these lovely females. But, like, they just, it's just, the drop rate's terrible. It's just terrible. Thanks for 20 bits. When are you doing throwing class again? I don't know. I don't know if you've ever been asked, but do you have a specific jumbo of mods you like to play with? If so, a few examples. Dorian, Calamity. Quality of life mods. Probably Magic Storage is like the number one quality of life mod I can name. <laughs> Max Stack Plus. Imagine not playing with Max Stacks, huh? Actually, I don't even think that matters. What's the Max Stack in Minotaur? It's, what, 900? Oh, <gasps> we got it. I didn't think we'd get it that quickly. <laughs> I was expecting like another like five, ten minutes at least. Yes. Game Raiders is currently in GST Goblin Standard Time, which means it's Tuesday where he is. I don't know about that. <laughs> if it was Tuesday, I would have got a haircut. Gnome standard time. 
They're just getting a little uh, stretch in before we fight this evil turkey. My stomach really hurts all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. Okay. I'm ready. Kind of. Should be more than enough potions. There's like six potions. like more than I ever use. I usually just get regen and iron skin. Play chess. Let's do it. We can fight him at any time of day, right? What am I doing? <laughs> oh, we need a pet turkey. Hold up. Okay. Pet turkey. Who sells the pet turkey? You. Humphrey. Cough it up, Humphrey. Damn, I gotta get rid of my drachma. It's not like I used my drachma pet. You're hungry? Nah. I just ate. But like my stomach hurts. That's what you that's like the nice way to say it. If you want me to like be straight up, I have to shit. There you go. Let's do it. Turkor time. TT. Oh my god, don't send me too far. You're gonna despawn. I, I know you. For a fact you like to despawn. How is this gonna work? Oh god, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? This does not seem like a compatible fight here. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Beat his ass! Oh god. I'm really thinking about how this is gonna go down. We need to stop doing that. If we keep bouncing off of him, this is gonna be a bad fight. I don't know how to not bounce off of him. See, this is what I'm talking about with the fist character and air control. You just go flying everywhere. Shouldn't be too bad. Why do I keep clicking, bro? Like, I keep forgetting you can just hold it down. Yes, sir. Get that good damage. Get that good damage. Oh my god, the combo. The combo. The convoluted combo. That's that's a nice set of words right there. Come over here before I get you. I'll build up a little little baby combo right here. There you go. It's actually it's just not going too bad. It's not going too bad. We're able to take out his head his heads really easily take this out so we can get the karate joe skeleton throwing hands get in there karate joe skelly beat their asses damn we got a high combo right now when's if i do this oh i don't actually i don't know if i hit him we had a 225 hit combo going on that boy just got his cheeks damn this shit echo did you guys hear that <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that. That, that clap really echoed. Jesus Christ. Oh. Put some platforms over this. Break the walls a little bit, you know, make this look nice. Game Raid is making stuff look nice. Preposterous. This has to be a fake. It's Fury Forge behind the camera. Yeah, actually, it looked nice before. Is that what it looked like? Yeah. Put that in there. Okay. What kind of goodies we get from Turk? Or I don't even remember what this guy drops. Oh, he drops the Horn of Plenty. That doesn't work. I don't know why it still doesn't work. They don't know how to program the the, the heal, the auto heal. I want, I want to just see. Maybe it does work. Maybe it does work. Favorite soda? Probably just Coke. Um. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, wings.
Damn, it worked. Look at that, it worked. Is there like a specific hotkey for it? No. I'm assume no. Press B? You get to buff? I don't want to buff every time just to heal. What if I have potions on me and I heal because I hit B? I still want to know why it just doesn't work. Is it really that hard for it to be programmed? Because you can't change vanilla functions easily without fucking shit up? Damn. I'll keep it. No, I'll, tr I'll try it out. I just gotta remember to hit B instead of Q, which is what my heal button is on. Okay. What do I even have on H? That's the real question. So what am I doing? We're we gonna fight the wall of flesh. Yeah, let's 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 uh let's do that. <laughs> let's let's finish setting up for that. I got Karate Joe following me around like he's gonna do something. What you about to do? Get out of here. You're supposed to get out of here. <laughs> he's not supposed to be with me. I don't have a combo built up. I guess he's coming with. Alright, man. It's long for the ride at this point. So I'm scared of building platforms sometimes. Cause like one one wrong like angle or something when building platforms. It's like oh damn they killed my boy. R.I.P. One wrong angle when building platforms, it's like damn, it's over. Okay, it's not over, but you build like ten platforms in the wrong direction. Did I not bring obsidian skins? Uh -oh. Don't come near me, don't come near me. Oh, I walked into. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we need the obsidian skin. All right, I'm gonna heal by hitting buff. Did it heal me? I don't. Even, I don't even think that healed me. Wasn't I at a hundred health already? My health isn't moving anymore. Why am I not regening? <laughs> Oops. Is there a reason I'm not regening right now? Give me that health back from that combo. Alright, yeah, how about we just don't use this thing? <laughs> uh, stop dashing! Oh my god. I don't think using this thing is the greatest. Yeah, for the wall of flesh, like I don't, I don't know, I don't know what's about to go down. We literally just had to like go up to his mouth or his eyeballs, and then just hold left click. Just literally hold left click and just hope that he dies. That's literally all we can do. There's no like crazy combo attacks I can do in the fight. It's literally just holding left click. I mean, that's most of Terry boss fights. Literally just holding up quick and attacking. But you know. The fist character, you know, you move around a little bit when you're attacking, but not this time. I'm just gonna let it let it unleash and hopefully he dies eventually. Don't break my platforms. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I gotta bring a calming potion down there. When's it, these dudes start breaking my platforms? I just like remember that those guys are very deadly when it comes to platforms. You're number two on Terraria trend. I don't even know what that means. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what Twitch stuff is, honestly. The only thing I do on Twitch is just stream. I don't be like paying attention to algorithms and stuff and how all that works. So we're just gonna assume that's pretty good. 
We're gonna assume that's good. You know, I bet if I went to uh, the wiki page, like a Terraria wiki page, you know how they have like the Twitch thing at the top? I bet you can find me pretty easily. Actually, I kind of want to test that right now. I'm gonna go Terraria wiki. And they got the little the little Twitch thing at the top. Oh, they don't have that anymore. Oh no, this is I think I'm on the wrong wiki. That's why. I don't even think they have that anymore. Oh yeah, they don't have the feature anymore. What? When did they remove that? It used to be like the bar right under your search bar. There was like a Twitch thing. And then the Twitch thing would have like a bunch of streams. Man, this sucks. <laughs> okay. Back to our journey. Back to our journey's end. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright. Oh shit, this dude was waiting for us. You're waiting for us, huh? That's what you get. I don't want to kill this lava slime. But he's kinda in the way. Minecraft sex mod. Are you the same person that said this the other day? <laughs> My god, stop jumping around. There's some oh it was you, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, what is up with all these people talking about the Minecraft sex mod? Terraria Otherworld coming out any day now, hell yeah. <laughs> Y'all hype for Terraria Otherworld? Jay Shaw, how many times are you gonna tell me? <laughs> this dude this dude told me like three, four times. What if there was a Terraria sex mod? I'm pretty sure there was one and then it just vanished. Wait, like he's running away. Do you want to fight me or not? Like, come on. He jumped all the way towards me, turned around and started running the opposite direction. These lava slimes, bro. I swear enemies are just here to piss you off. <laughs> Especially while building. Oh my God. Now you get out of the hole. He was stuck in that hole until I started building. Oh my, now every, everything's going bad, bro. And the platform said like two shots to break them. There's a block right here, what? I didn't even notice that. Oh my god. Just just do it. Just break the break the platform, it's fine. Oh, we actually kind of need this. We need these dudes. Alright. That is definitely not a big enough arena to fight the fall of flesh. We gotta get more. More. We need more. You know what else we need more of? You know. I've only done it once. This stream, you know. You know we, we might need some more. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to donate for free. This is one of the best ways to do it and one of the best ways to support me on Twitch. So get ready for this. You're in the chat, right? You see this little icon right here next to the emote icon. You click on it. Boom. We are now in the bit section. And most of you, if you don't know how to donate bits, you'll see this. You'll have zero bits. Click on get bits. All right. Now you can obviously pay for them, but we want it to, we want to do it for free. Okay. Get ready. Boom, watch ad, continue, and then you just watch an ad, and you get bits. Can you believe it? That's all you gotta do. And after you get your bits, you just take whatever bits you have, you type in cheer, say you have 15 bits, you type in 15 bits, boom, there you go. That's how you get bits for free, and that's how you support the channel for free. Thank you, Game Raiders, for teaching us how to get bits and how to support you for free. You know what's upsetting? Gokbox like straight up went like out of business. Okay, maybe not out of business is the word. But Gokbox isn't a thing anymore, which is kind of sad. These are 15 bits. Baptiste. Appreciate that. Yeah, Gokbox was another way to donate for free. But boom, I don't know if you heard it in the background. Got more dirt platforms, bought some from the architect. Is that even the name of that NPC? 
It is Frito, the architect. Frito? <laughs> Alright, we're going down. Ready? These are five Brits. Bro, what do you think of the new brown mushrooms in Minecraft? Amazing. <laughs> I love them. If you watch, if you ever watch that uh, video I did about the juice mod dirt weapons, you would know how I feel. I should maybe not know how I feel, but you would see me representing the brown mushrooms. I heard that uh, well, in my uh, group chat, my friend, me and my friend's group chat, one of them sent a thing about Hentai Haven and how there's like some beef going on with Hentai Haven. Imagine beefing <laughs> over naked cartoon ladies. Come on. Like I heard there's like a whole problem with like the ownership. I'm like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Can I outrun him? <laughs> oh no, what happened? It was going all good until that torch ruined everything. I was outrunning the hell out of these bats. <laughs> These are five bits. Juice dirt is overpowered. I got 135. Well, I don't know where the fuck that message went. 135 damage and 89 defense before any bosses. Dang. Took me about five minutes, but I made an endless potion that works. An endless potion, isn't it? So just never the buff never wears off. Oh, that'd be like an elixir, more than an endless potion. Wait, are you just talking about? Oh, you're talking about the that thing? Yeah, you should probably like message Hastur, Hastur, however you say his name. Dude, just let me build, bro. The endless waves. Oh, no. The demon torches, bro. They're messing up everything. It's the second time. It's once I start going fast, too. Okay. See, that time it wasn't the demon torches. These are five bits. Yeetus. Yeah, I know Hentai Haven went back up. You, did you not understand what I was talking about? It's like motherfuckers just completely ignore what I'm talking about. Just to like get their, get their, what they want to say across. <laughs> I never said that it was down. I said that there was some beef with the ownership. Oh, okay. That's how far it goes. All right. That, that's like, that's a pretty decent arena. If, if I'm being honest, that seems like a pretty decent arena. So I think we might be able to take on the boss now. I think we might be able to fight the Waff himself. So if we get Flesh Doll, obviously we're going to use Flesh Doll so I don't have to kill the guide over and over again. We're going to need pretty much every single potion there is. Uh, I don't really need this night out. Oh, eh, whatever, just keep it. it. Doesn't matter. Is Terraria Otherworld coming out on PS4? Terraria Otherworld ain't coming out on anything. That shit doesn't exist. <laughs> he said they lied to him about his contract and ownership rights, and then they just took the whole company from him. Damn. That's some um, uh, Steve Jobs, who's another person that got fired from their own company, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> Steve Jobs type shit right there. Otherworld came out in my dreams, now. We're literally gonna use like every. Actually, we don't need a swiftness potion. That's already like seven potions. <laughs> I'm sure I get a rage potion. Why not? Calming potion. Why not? You know, make it nice and calm while I'm down there until I'm ready for the fight. Whew, this is about to go down, boys. 
first time that I'm fighting the Wall of Flesh as a Fist character. Otherworld came out of the closet last month. Motherfucker, where my iframes at? It's free damage I took. Damn, I didn't reforge any accessories. Let me stand still. Get that regen going up. Alright, let's use the calming potion. Let's also hope every potion activates when I hit buff. Imagine getting scammed for some hentai. Oh, I wasn't looking. Made me step in the lava. Imagine stepping in lava over reading about some hentai. <laughs> Imagine jacking off the pixelated shit. <laughs> Come here, see what happens. Oh, damn. That's what happens. I fucking dip myself in the lava instead of... I completely missed not only the uppercut, but the... the what is this called when you tag downwards? The dive kick. Terrible. Yeah. Now we wait until I get healed. Wow, it's gonna take a while, isn't it? <laughs> what the fuck? What if I do this? This has a 30 second duration, so you know it's shorter. Why not use it? A lot of enemies, you know, cal quote unquote calming potion. They need to buff the calming potion. Cause it, cause it is straight up garbage. <laughs> Why are you guys horny for squares? Okay. Let's do it. It didn't even use all the potions. See, this is what I'm talking about with potions. Like, why does that happen? Wow, this is going better. Heal up, heal up. Yes, sir. All right, back to it. Oh, I'm getting into... Oh, God. This is bad. This is... <laughs> Let's see if we can take out a couple of the uh, hungry first. All right, I guess I'm up here all of a sudden. Maybe it'd be better if I use this. Like, I'm not building up high enough combos for me to be able to... Oh, I'm dead. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was terrible. Oh, my God. How are we going to do this? I don't, I don't know. How long are we gonna take to spawn? Hello? I don't know how we're gonna do this. That went like like bad, bad. Like that that wasn't like, okay, you know, if I if I tweak a couple things, we'll be able to take them on. No, that went bad, bad. Go, Anvil. I can still catch up. Never mind about catching up, I guess. These are five bit sergeant blade. Place a point for the nurse to stay there. No, nah, that's not gonna work. The nurse. See, the thing I was gonna rely on my healing it was gonna be the number one I was gonna rely on, but it was so hard to build a combo high enough to heal me for a bunch of health. It just just wasn't working building up that combo. We're gonna have to like do that shit where I like min max every little thing possible. That was a lot of money spent on potion. That's the thing I'm upset about. <laughs> All my money for the potions is gone. I would really love to reforge my uh, my items. So I think the best thing we're going to have to do here is just farm a bunch of bosses. And then get the gold from them. How do you think you can use the healing dash from Demon Hand? 
that's I don't think it's gonna work because the healing dash goes through enemies, so I'm not really relying on it. You know, I'm kind of relying on this that heals me, this that heals me, this that heals me. You know, one of my three healing items to heal me, and not the dash from my gauntlet. Where's a mutant? Don't I have a mutant NPC? I don't have a mutant NPC. What? Oh no, he lives over there. I was about to say, like, what the fuck? Use every buff, bro. Like, I feel like I ran out of buff room. <laughs> I hit, I hit B for buff, and he used like six out of the nine potions. All right, man. So what's a what's a good boss to fight over and over again and farm a lot of money from? What are some good deals on the summer sale before it ends? See, this is what I've been trying to ask too. I'm, I've been trying to find some good games. Um, what is it called? Fable. I'm definitely picking up Fable Anniversary Edition. Fable is always a game I've wanted to play. Um, I'm definitely picking up Witcher Three. Witcher Three is another game I've always wanted to play. I think I see. I'm trying to remember. I put everything in my cart, and I was just trying to build up my cart. For what I was going to buy. But Steam deleted my cart. That's never happened to me before. Where Steam just deleted my cart. But uh. I had that. I had like a. Like a first person Terraria game. Called One More Dungeon. I think is what it was called. I had the DLC for uh, Hollow Knight. There was one other game I had. I don't know. Oh I think I had. What's that one? Edge of Space. Edge of Space was like $2. And I've always wanted to fight the Skeletron boss from Edge of Space. I've always wanted to try the game out in general. So that was in there. I think that's it. I think I might might have just remembered my whole entire list. <laughs> Alright. So you guys are saying... Fight the Brain of Cthulhu, Cthulhu slash Queen Bee. Brain, sell all the ores. Okay. Why the Brain? Is Brain easier than the, the Worm? Yeah, whatever. I'll take your word for it. So we're going to spend 50 gold here, okay? We're spending 50 gold. And hopefully we make make it all back. All right, McDonald's manager, you have fun. Yeah, the Witcher is definitely a cop. But I don't know. I was trying to... I, I went on a uh, website that randomizes like a Steam game from your library. And I was going to choose what game I was going to play. But then I just ended up playing the Wind Waker. I bought the Wind Waker. I even bought a Pro Control for the Wii U. That's how badly I want to play Wind Waker. <laughs> I hate the Wii U control or the gamepad for the Wii U. It's so uncomfortable. Just playing any game with that shit. You going to come down here? Why'd you go so high? How, how prominent is the right click lifesteal thing? I feel like it's not even that big of a thing to use on the demon hand. Compared to me just building a combo. One last little eyeball. Come here. Come here, you little eyeball. Come here. And now the brain himself. Doing an awful, awful lot of damage to me, if I'm, if I'm being honest here. Alright, so let's look at it like this. Before... No, nah, actually, let's just fight all of them. Let's just fight all of them. Maybe fighting all of them is better. Oh, God, we're going up too high. We're going up too high. <laughs> we go up too high, he's going to despawn. Can you come down here? Why are you so up high in general? Is this why it's better to fight him in a cave so he doesn't be doing shit like this? I don't really have any crimson caves anywhere, so. Am I confused right now? What's going on? Why am I attacking the opposite direction? My character is doing the complete opposite of where I was going. Is that it? Nope, one more. There's always one more. Come here. <laughs> you need to come down here. There we go. See, like, sometimes I, like... I can hit a boss so many times without taking damage, and then other times I'll hit him and then always take damage. Like, there was a good, like, 10 hits I got in there before he even touched me. 
That's why I don't, I don't really understand the iframes of the fish character. Because the, the, the whole, like, subclass is based around iframes. Getting up close and personal. But, like, the iframes, like, don't be working sometimes. I don't know what it is. Ooh, the dive kicks. Oh my god, there's always like one or two left. Oh, there we go. Look at those iframes. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess it like really depends where you hit the boss. Feel like a good ass angle to hit the boss. And these are 35 bits. Hey, it's me. Hey, it's you. So we spent 50 gold. Can we make it all back? Maybe we'll have an estimate of how much gold I'll make back. Whoosh! Damn. I only killed one of those with that uppercut. Can fake me out. Fucking wrist hurts from playing right now. Hold up. Too too much, too much left wrist action today. Okay, that should be good. Let's do it. Last one. Now I'm gonna guess we're definitely gonna get a couple of platinum. No, maybe not a couple platinum. I, I'm gonna guess we actually. No, we're definitely gonna get a couple platinum. We have to. I can't wait till we get to like the more interesting fist where I like I actually use my right click on my mouse. So right now I'm just holding down left click the whole time. <laughs> All right. So there you go. The five Brain of Cthulhu's have been killed. What do you guys think? How much gold do you think I'm going to get? We spent 50 gold. So the goal is to sell literally everything. Well, maybe not everything. I'll probably put this one. How much gold do you guys think I'm going to get? Let's get some guesses in the chat. Couple of dollars worth. <laughs> what does that even mean? Four twenty gold. Okay. Let's see what we get from opening treasure bags alone. What you don't get gold for opening treasure bags? Okay, never mind. Let's see what we get. Oh, we, we can't even see the fucking amount, dude. Give me all those back. We gotta take off the the money collector. Oh, that's not the direction I threw that in. Okay. Let's sell everything, but you know, obviously the big the big boy stuff. So alone off of all the just accessories and stuff, twelve gold. Not looking that good considering we spent fifty. But now let's sell the big boy stuff. Okay. We're gonna sell this first. Boom. Gets us to 19, and then we're gonna turn the 1500 crimtain into uh, bars. I'll make sure I'm doing it outside of my magic storage thing so I don't tap in to any of the uh, deposits of crimtain that we already have. Okay. So we're not looking good in terms of profits. What the fuck? Did I not put that in there? I put a bar in there. What? We're at 19. We spent 50 gold. All right, you ready? Here it goes. The big number right here. Didn't even look. Two platinum and 31 gold. Is anybody even close? Let's see. 
Let us see. A lot of people said one platinum. This one person, Faded Slade, said two platinum. He's the only person that said two platinum. The thing is, nobody got it on the dot. So nobody gets a free statue, okay? See, I probably should have told you guys that you would have got a free statue, but... You know, oh well. <laughs> two platinum, 31 gold. Not bad, not bad. You know, if someone was close, like really close, I would have gave it to him. But yeah, we spent 50 gold. We ended up profiting, what, 150, 170 gold? Something like that. 180 gold. It's not bad. The question is, can I use all that in reforge? <laughs> you spend all that money on reforging? I don't, I don't know. How much gold are we looking at? Five platinum. Let me, let me just test it out. Now let me reforge a couple times. See what we get. I don't even know if I have a that gnome in here. Gnome wordsmith. So what's like a guarantee thing that I'm gonna be keeping, and that I should reforge? These are always expensive as hell. I hate reforging those. Probably this. Let's reforge this. Eh, what about this one? Nah, never mind. Let's reforge this. Okay, here it goes. Warning. Give me warning. Warning. I'll take an armored. Hardy is actually not that bad. So we're at 66 gold. Okay. Just, just make sure. If we get an armored, I'll take an armored. But I'm not taking anything lower. I'm not taking a guarding. I'm not taking a hard. It's either armored or it's warding. And I'm not going to go past a whole platinum for this one thing. Rejuvenating is actually really good too. Come on, bro. Haven't even gotten it a single time. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Like, you can't tell me that. Okay, I was about to say. I feel like definitely the the defensive, good defensive reforges are like, their percentage for you to get them is high. Or low. Not high. Low. These are 10 bits. Not that toxic. Like, it has to be lower. I feel like I never get them when I want them. It's either I get them like first or second try, or I just don't get them. Hardy, like, honestly, I think keeping Hardy is a good one, a good thing to do. Damn, this one's cheap to reforge. Now, nah, we, we try and get warding on this, or armored. Because this one is cheap. Damn, I was kind of hoping for warding, if I'm being honest. Oh, this is expensive. What the hell? <laughs> Five gold. Keep that, honestly. Let's upgrade our boots. We should get uh, the best boots we can get our hands on. Why am I walking back when I could teleport? Okay. Um. So what do we do? We get lightning boots. Oh, do we have a Zephyr? If we had a Zephyr. Should I fight the Grand Thunderbird? I don't, I don't think the Grand Thunderbird really gives you a lot of gold in terms of how much you spend to get it. Do we need Frostmark. All right. So let's just. Do we have an Aglet? Let me check. No Aglet. I'm assuming no anklet. Damn, you know how many like chests we found in the jungle too? So we gotta craft all of this. Aglet, anklet. Boom. Crafted. Now what? Oh, we throw our boots in. Boom. Lightning. Alright, next. Um we need skating boots. Ice skating boots. I don't think I have any. I'm actually not sure about that. You have lightning boots. Nice. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Damn, yeah, I don't have ice skating boots. What the heck? Surprising. How do you make them? You need snow tokens? Hopefully I have snow tokens. I don't know. Unless I just like randomly have them. No. What about snow tokens? Damn, we only have nine. All right, so this is what we do. We go to the snow biome. We just, oops. We go to the snow biome. We just beat stuff up for like a couple of minutes. 
beat around the bush. I don't know who, who uses that phrasing. <laughs> Let's beat around the bush for a couple minutes. I don't think that even applies. <laughs> but let's do that. You know, beat up some enemies. And boom, we get our 10 snow tokens. No problem. I hope no problem. Watch, dude. Like, every enemy I kill is like... Every, like, 30 en or 30th enemy I kill is gonna drop a snow token. Damn, look. If you do like a jump and then dash with the fist, what am I doing? Oh, no, I'm going all the way over here, right? I feel like I go further. You, do you drop snow tokens? Probably not. Huh. I'll get you out, man. Don't, don't you worry. Oh, now he's on the floor. I got you out, man. Don't worry. What you got for sale? Not exactly a lot, so I'm not gonna buy anything. Did you drop snow tokens? Post Skeletron tokens? Can you make snow tokens? You can't make snow tokens. So we're gonna go underground then, because I'm assuming that's where they drop. Thing is tanky, oh my. <laughs> We're going down here, right to the left. Yes, sir. Alright, sweet. Did I loot this? Yeah, I did. See, that's why I always break chests when I loot them. So I never go up to them. So I never see them when I see them again. And I'm like, did I loot this? Like, I never had to ask that question. Because the chest is broken. And because I didn't break that chest, you know, I checked if it was looted or not. So that's why it's always good to break your chest after you loot them. Also, because you can get gold and money from them when you sell them. Tips with gamers on one. That's like multiplayer tips. I mean, I guess you can use it in single player. Like right there, I could use it in single player. But like the times I played with people in multiplayer, they just leave the chest there. I'm like, bro, come on. I got excited that I found a chest. Where the enemy's at, man? I don't have a calming potion activated. All right, Jay Shaw. Bismuth. I don't have a calming potion activated, so they don't want to. So they should be spawning. Maybe I should pretend, pretend like I'm building. Ooh, that's how you 100% get enemies to spawn. Once you start building and minding your own business, that's when all the enemies like to come out. They're like, hey, yo. It's time to fuck some shit up. Come on, bro. Drop some stuff. Or go deeper. We're going deeper. Notice me, Senpai. What's up, Kensley? Silt? Oh, that was snow. They looked exactly the same right there. Not silt, whatever it's called. Slush. Silt, slush. What's the other one? Fossil. Ooh, what about uh, spiders? Would they drop snow tokens? I've killed, what, four enemies so far and we haven't gotten a snow token? This is looking like it might be true, bro. Every 30th uh, enemy I kill here, that's going to drop our snow tokens. Honestly, it might be... Oh, no. Look, we got one from a granite golem. That's where we got our first snow token from. I should have brought a battle potion or something. Maybe I should, like, kill myself so I have a respawn point over here. And then just, like, get a battle potion, come back. Ooh, flinks? Have you guys ever noticed that uh, the flinks is sprite? That's not his arm sticking out. That's his big-ass nose. I know. Crazy, right? If you look at like some Terraria sprites closely, you'll notice a lot. That kind of bothers me when I start noticing things. Like, I always thought the flinks was sticking out his arm in his sprite. I didn't know that was his nose. <laughs> Another thing I never noticed is the goblin. What's it called? 
battle standard. I always thought the goblin battle standard was like a like a goblet. Like a cup you drink out of. But then I look closely at it and the goblin battle standard thing, it's a flag. I was like, what the hell? We have two snow tokens. It's not bad. We're at 11 and we need 20. Damn, they give me an underground token. I used to also think it was a goblet. It just looked like one. GR, you were the only one who thought that was an arm. No, it wasn't. It barely looks like a nose. A weird looking nose. Look at that. Does that look like a nose? Looks like he's sticking out his arm. Come over here, Flinks. Look at that. You can't even see his eyes either. It's like it doesn't look like a nose at all. Looks like he's got both his arms out and he's just like a zombie chasing you. Boom, uppercut. Get out of here. <laughs> How many snow tokens we got? Three? Okay, not bad. Not bad. We're at like, what, 12 now? Look at the, Look how many enemies are down there They're teasing me, bro. Y'all want to tease me, huh? I'll show y'all a tease right here. I'm going to show them a little bit more than a tease after this thing fully loads up, isn't it? All right. Oh, my God. That's what you get for spawning down here. You thought you are out of my reach. Nah, it's over for y'all. Damn, how far does it go? I went a little, little too low. A little too low down. Any more goodies I can grab while I'm down here? I'm going back up. These are 20 bits. A flinx is a sheep with only two legs. Oh man, see now that I did that, like we don't have a floor. What in the actual fuck was that? Bro, you never seen the Doom Cannon? Imagine suffocating yourself with your own block that you place. How stupid do you have to be? <gasps> you saw me swing on my fist and I just went through him and I took damage? Like, come on. It's actually not taking that long. No, it's taking kind of long. We've killed at least like 30 enemies. But 6 and we need 20. And we had 9 already, so we're at 15. Math with game rivers. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know I don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to fight the wall of flesh this stream. We might just spend the rest of the stream prepping for it. What's the mod that gives you tokens? It's uh, IMK Sushi. Boom, uppercut. Cyan husk. Cyan. Can I use this or anything? No, not really. I like how you can use the husk. The husk of a beetle. To make a terrarium. Of the beetle. <laughs> like, how, how does that work? Is the beetle alive? I don't think it works that way. How many tokens I got now? Seven? Okay, okay, not bad. Let's kill this piranha over here. What's up? He was just chilling. I bet he didn't expect that. I feel kind of bad now. Am I just bad or is expert mode really hard? Expert mode is not that hard. So you're probably just bad. No offense. <laughs> like, people be playing on, like, Calamity's Revengeance in death mode normally. I feel like Revengeance mode I could probably play on normally. But it would have to definitely be, you know, vanilla classes. Because I don't, I don't think playing on Revengeance with non-vanilla classes is fun. Like, if you're playing Revengeance in death mode and you're playing, like, melee, like, it's not going to be that bad in experience. You're playing fucking, like, Bard or something on death mode? Oh, hell no. That's, that's hellish right there. Damn, okay, that was two enemies that dropped a snow token in a row. Okay, he broke the streak. But that was not that bad. Alright, I'm gonna pretend like I'm building and watch this while we get a bunch of enemies to spawn in. 
Because they love to spawn in when I'm building stuff. They're not falling for it. They've learned. <laughs> oh, wait. No, look. This guy, he, he kind of came right at the end. They know that I'm trying to tri trick them. Enemies down here? I doubt it. There's that one bat over there. That's about it. Got him. Go for this spike slime over here. Okay. Didn't drop anything. All good. Let's go for the snowy bat over here. Like I was going to break in this way, you know, a little shortcut, but then he went the opposite direction. We got 10 tokens. I think we need one more. I hope just one more. So I kind of just want to go make the boots already. Okay, yeah, we got one. You know, let's let's get a safety one. Safety token just in case we don't have enough. No, better to be safe than sorry. As my Canadians would say. Or my Minnesotans. I feel like people from Minnesota would say that. Better to be safe than sorry. Oh shit, he's still alive. We got eleven. That's my the safety, right? No, wait. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Is that gladiator helmet a material? For what? What could this possibly be material for? A better gladiator. Gladiator Coliseum helmet. Whoa. <laughs> Do you think that gives me a set bonus if I put it on with this? I'm kind of interested now. Kind of interested. I want to try it out. Okay. I doubt it. But like I said, I'm like I'm interested. Does that give me a set bonus? What? It doesn't give me a set bonus. Totally should have gave me a set bonus. All right. What are we making? We're making uh, ice skates. Yes. Ice skates accomplish. And now we make our frost spark boots. Boom. All right. Where do we go from frost spark? That's a real question. Oh, God. Demonic waiters. Royal treads. Which. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? What does that sound like? Pretty sure the helmet's supposed to be used the rest of Gladiator set. Uh, maybe. Companion cube. Literally, I would spend all of my money buying this. I'm not going to buy it. I, I remember I got like a, a butthurt comment about me like talking about the companion cube. Like, I don't know why he was butthurt. I think he was. I said what I said when I was talking about the companion cube. I was like, I was like the companion cube. This isn't this one of like of the, the rarest Terraria items. And he's like one of the rarest. It is the rarest Terraria items. I'm like damn. <laughs> Just calm down. Not that serious. <laughs> Thanks for the ten bits. If we get enough husks, we can form the beetles. You're not wrong. Okay. What was I doing that for? I don't remember what I was doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was reforging stuff. Should I even reforge anything anymore? We're at 32 defense. How am I at a lower defense? Didn't we, we at like 40? Maybe I'm tripping. I think I'm tripping. Hey, come over here, Miss Alice. Come over here. Over here. Come over here. Alice. Alice. Come over here. Alice. Maybe she can't hear me. Alice. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Wait, is this even who I'm talking to? Whatever, we're just buy potions. Yes. We're going to skip out on the rage potion. We're going to buy Thorns potion. It's 
seems good, right? What else will we need for the wall of flesh? Probably obsidian, maybe. Obsidian, be safe. Upgrade the charm, alright, I'll upgrade the charm, bro. Since you want me to upgrade the charm so badly. Can I not upgrade it? What? I don't have no demonite bars. Come on. Boom. Allows you to use potions from your piggy bank by quick buff. Yes. Hopefully I don't accidentally buff. And hopefully when I hit buff, it uses all the potions. <laughs> I still want to know what that happens. Like, can Terraria only use a certain amount of potions? I was also asking earlier how come you don't use full alchemist? I don't know. I don't think it matters that much. There was an NPC I wanted to talk to. Oh, okay. I remember what I was doing. I was going to talk to the, um, the goblin. The goblin. You. How much does it cost? Too much. Like, should I even use the uh, uh, Stars GIF anymore? Maybe it's not even good to use. Yeah, maybe it isn't good to use. I feel like at this point, like, we're fighting the Wall of Flesh, we're not gonna have enough time to break one of those eggs. I don't really need to reduce cooldown between dashes. <laughs> if you die to wall of flesh, you will lose half your viewers. It's fine. I don't give a shit. Okay. Um, what's a good accessory to use here? We can sell that. Ooh, when's if we use an accessory that like it hurts things when I get hit? So if I get hit by the wall of flesh, you know, that's that's like more damage that's being sent out. Erupt flames from your body. Honestly, I'm just looking for things to kill the hunger. You say, damn, okay, I thought you cared about us. You're saying that if I lose to the wall of flesh, I'll lose half my viewers. So half those viewers don't care about me, and because I don't care about those viewers that left because I died to the law of flesh, I don't care about you guys? Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's just trying to start something over nothing. He's like a comment comment in the comment section. Maybe I should reduce the durations of debuffs. Would that be good against the law of flesh? Auto trash that. Bruh, I was joking, chill. Oh, you you joking until I say something, huh? <laughs> he pulled the joke card. Yeah, exactly. Does that affect po potion? Does that affect potion sickness? I don't. I have no idea, honestly. No idea. Well, no, we don't need that. Oh, I can sell one of these. I'm just trying to look at all the fist accessories. Reese's honeybees that he'll play. Eh, it's not that good. We've, we've used that before. It's not that good. Is this good? Do you think the pommel would kill everything? It would kill a hungry and then go to the next hungry? Yeah, the pommel works with fist. The fist class is a melee class. It's a subclass. This is why you barely have any followers. Damn, I didn't know that like 8,000 people following. It's barely. <laughs> Pommel might be good for the creepers. The creepers? I mean the hungries. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm feeling the Pommel. If we can get a good reforge on the Pommel, it might be, it'll be pretty decent. I'm not reforge. If we get warding, like that, that'll help even better.
Thanks for the answer. When did you even type a question? Um, Terraria is kind of it's like kind of like Minecraft in terms of like what you have to do. Just like Minecraft, it does pretty much have a you know sort of quest you can follow with killing all the bosses and stuff. Um, Terraria, you know, you could just explore for a good chunk of the world or a good chunk of the time before you really fight any bosses. But you might honestly be forced to fight a boss. So I notice if you like chill too long in Terraria without fighting a boss, like the Eye Cthulhu or the Slime, they just pull up. They're like, hey, yo, I seen you, you were just chilling, huh? You didn't want to fight us? They'll just pull up. Warding, please. Please give me warding. I don't have an accessory with warding yet, please. Please. I don't know why I keep checking. Hardy is always good. Same thing with rejuvenating. Armored. All right, we'll take an armored. Armored is it's not bad at all. That thanks for the ten bits. From not that toxic. Eight thousand followers, but you only have one hundred forty viewers. <laughs> thanks for the five bits, memes, and more memes. Want to get that seventy-five bit badge from this? And I will. Is that when you get it? Is that 75? No, nah, isn't the next bit badge at 100? Okay. What else should I even reforge, honestly? Like, I want to hit 40 defense, but, like, I don't think it's going to be possible, honestly. Damn, if that gave me what I wanted with the one reforge. Damn, this thing is just... Damn, give me every wrong reforge. Alright, I guess we're taking the one melee speed. It literally gave me all of the worst reforges it possibly could. Gave me a mage one, it gave me a fishing one. And they gave me another arcane mage one. Like, come on, bro. Where's the love at from the reforges? That's why I hate reforging. <laughs> I talked about it before. Imagine like you're giving this sacred weapon slash accessory to the goblin to reforge. And the goblin's like, yo, I can make this better. I can make this better. I can make this have some magical powers. It's like, all right, bro, here you go. And you give it to him and he fucking breaks it on the first reforge. Example, like a weapon, you get a broken reforge. It's like, bro, what the fuck am I paying you for? This is why I think there, there shouldn't be any bad reforges in Terraria because it's just so dumb. It's literally just a way for you to waste money. Hard earned cash and they force you to have to farm gold. I don't know. Maybe like the Terraria devs don't expect reforging to be that big of a thing in Terraria. But the thing is, people are always going to min max games and reforging has become such like a basic thing for people to play Terraria. Like it's just a part of their playthrough. But it's like, bro, how you gonna break? How you gonna break my terror blade? Imagine you give you give your terror blade to the goblin, and you get a broken reforge on it, <laughs> or you get like a miniature reforge. It's like, bro, how did you shrink my sword? How does this work? I wanted you to make it stronger, not break it. What am I doing? I was gonna sell all that stuff, but we don't really need to do that. All right, so we have forty six defense when we're near the dryad. Obviously, what are we at? We're at thirty eight. That's not bad. 38 is like not bad at all. Okay. Do I think I can beat the wall of flesh? Uh, no. I do not think we're going to beat them, but you know, might as well attempt it still. And see what happens. See what happens, man. Hopefully, we beat them. I don't have a lot of faith. After the last fight, but we'll we'll see. That last fight was terrible. The last fight, he just completely destroyed me. Oh God! Go, go quick! For the enemies start coming. Oh God! Oh, we're here already. Oh, God, I don't. 
this. <laughs> Look at my health already, bro. No fuck. <laughs> oh, it's because I, I keep on touching touching his body, which is a really bad thing too. Okay. 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 Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Right there. This is such a hard angle. <laughs> I'm get out of here. It's only gonna get harder. <laughs> it's only gonna get harder. Oh my God. <gasps> ah! Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm gonna take a lot of damage from that. Yeah, I knew that was bad. When you get behind the wall of flesh, you're taking so much damage. It's such a hard angle to fight him at. The air control of the fist character is so hard to deal with. Like, when you guys see me flying around all, all over, that's not me. <laughs> I'm not controlling that. I'm literally just holding left click and then punching towards the wall flesh. And I'm going up, down, left, right, all around. It's so fucking hard. It's all good. We got, we got a lot we got a lot of, uh, what's it called? Flesh dolls. So that fight was close. How can we improve on that fight? Use resurrection? I don't even want to try it. We are already at the end of the bridge. I think we have to guaranteed make a longer bridge. Like we have to, because there's no way that bridge is long enough. There was a moment in that fight though where we landed like a good like 20 hit combo on him. Like we were just bouncing off of his eye perfectly. Like I don't want to attack his um, attack his mouth. I want to attack his eye. Eyes multiple. Use the counter on the honeycomb fist. I don't think that's gonna really do much. Have I cleared? I don't even think I cleared out any area past this part right here. Damn, look, there's like not an enemy in sight. Nice and peaceful. That's how I like it. Maybe I just have to focus on the mouth, honestly. I feel like going for the eye is so, like, so much harder. It's not that bad going for the mouth. It's just, you know, obviously the eye is the weaker part to attack. The mouth in this case is gonna be the easiest for uh, for this situation. Why is there so many enemies? How do you end up falling asleep, uh, being knocked unconscious in hell? Not waking you up. That's a succubus. That's not the tavern keeper. That's a succubus. Why would the tavern keeper be knocked out in hell? Come on. Yeah, one of the one of the main reasons why we take so much damage is when we get stuck behind them. We constantly keep getting stuck behind them, and I can't really control it. Like it's not like a thing where it's just like gamers don't get stuck behind them. It's like no, it's not that easy. If the fist wasn't throwing me everywhere every time I attack something, maybe it would be a little bit easy. Is that gold gonna vanish when it hits the water? Damn, you see all that gold that just got thrown away. Was it not fully charged? My left mouse is still being held down. Why did it shoot? 
What the fuck? Did my mouse just break? Hold on, I gotta kill these guys. But yeah, my left my left mouse was still being held down. And it just shot the doom cannon. We could try and set up a bunch of uh, lanterns and stuff. Jesus Christ, really, there's a lot of a lot of stuff for this one boss, man. What I hate about fighting the wall of flesh is that like you set up a lot for this boss just to like you know fight it like once or twice, you know, and then that's it. Like, what else do you do do in hell <laughs> for vanilla Terraria? That's why they need more like hell related things. You fight the wall of flesh in vanilla terraria, you set up like this big arena, this big preparation, and then that's it. You never you never do anything down here again. Maybe you look for some hard mode ores. But like for vanilla terraria, like there's no re other reason why you come down here. You burn? Yeah, you can do that in pre hard mode too. Same platforms. I don't feel like going back up to get more platforms. <laughs> Oh, you broke the fucking platform. I'm about to die on the low. Come on. Oh, I, yeah, that worked. That worked. <laughs> if I get this far, no. Well, <laughs> I should probably blow this open. But yeah, I don't think this pommel really worked out too well on killing the hungries. I feel like I had to attack the Hungries a lot more than the Palm will just kill them. I don't think it does enough damage to kill the Hungries. So either we try and find an accessory that does the same thing but a little bit stronger. Or we just get an accessory that like, I don't know, gives us a buff or like defense and stuff. Because that would probably be, oh my god, that would probably be the best way to go for that accessory slot. All this garbage, bro. Like, I don't want to stick all this garbage in my house. Or in my uh, storage. No, hold on to that. That's not garbage. We need that. Did I use all my potions? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is upsetting. This is what I'm talking about with hitting buff and it doesn't use all the potions. These are four potions. Now, we did not have. Do we? Do we have these potions? Do we have heart reach? Because I didn't feel like we were reaching anything with the heart. I hope to God we had hard reach in that fight. <laughs> okay. Is the alchemist trying to save the pots? I hope it is. Because I've had a lot of times where I hit the buff and potions just don't get used. Like the first like three potions get used. Even before the alchemist charm. Got the spore again. Damn juicy! You don't, you don't even know the own accessory from your own mod. The spore again. I was thinking the spore again would have been another good choice. Honestly, if we can just find something with more defense, it'll probably be pretty good. The spore doesn't do the close to the same effect. Well, it does the effect where I was just talking about getting hit and something shooting out after I get hit. So yeah, there is the same effect. That was the effect I was talking about originally, actually. And not the pommel. I just brought out the pommel out of nowhere. Cobalt shield. Obsidian skull. That gives us two more defense. I don't know, like this shit kind of ass, bro. Like on the on the low, <laughs> two defense. I mean, we get knockback. Does knockback really matter? Like, how much is knockback affecting me? That's the real question. How much is knockback being a factor on the fist character? Like every time I hit something as a fist character and I bounce off of it, is that knockback? What like what is that? Or is that just like the fist character? How the fist character works, where you just bounce off of things when you attack them? That's a real question. We got, we got a little test here. My stomach is killing. Like, I really got to go to the bathroom. My dash past the wall flesh. I 
I don't know how much aiming my mouse plays a factor in staying connected to a boss, I guess. Uh, that felt exactly the same, so I don't think knockback matters. But, uh, you know, whatever. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play a uh, bit ad, and then you know, I'll be back after that. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to donate for free. This is one of the best ways to do it, and one of the best ways to support me on Twitch. So get ready for this. You're in the chat, right? You see this little icon right here next to the emote icon? You click on it. Boom. We are now in the bit section. And most of you, if you don't know how to donate bits, you'll see this. You'll have zero bits. Click on get bits, all right? Now you can obviously pay for them, but we want it to we want to do it for free, okay? Get ready. Boom. Watch ad. Continue. And then you just watch an ad and you get bits. Can you believe it? That's all you got to do. And after you get your bits, you just take whatever bits you have. You type in cheer. Say you have 15 bits. You type in 15 bits. Boom. There you go. That's how you get bits for free. And that's how you support the channel for free. Hello, I'm here. Don't worry, I washed my hands. All right, um, disable that. Is it gonna be zoomed in? Oh, it's not zoomed in, look at that. Okay, so, let's do it. No, I'm kidding, we, we need to prepare a little bit. I, I wish I could just, just, you know, wall of flesh is dead. It's not that easy though. I wish it was. Okay. Um, so yeah, what we can do, we can set up a bunch of regen stuff. Who would have thought? The wall of flesh. It's gonna be the hardest boss. Where am I typing in flesh? No, I mean might as well make the dolls. Imagine Moon Lord, oh my god. <laughs> we got some we got some difficulty for us. Coming. Make some more chains. Get all the lanterns. Get all the campfires. Get all the smoke. 
I got, I got stuff in here to make campfires. Unlimited campfires. Ooh. You need a lot of fire blossoms, water, and gel. Can I buy fire blossoms straight up? Bro, isn't it pretty gay to fist a man? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It really depends. Uh, your uh, opinions, you know? What you consider homosexual and what you consider not homosexual. What? She doesn't sell straight up plants? Oh man, what the hell? It ain't happening then. Is there any NPCs that just still. Who the hell is this? Skyler. Oh, I feel like I remember. Yeah, is there no NPCs that sell straight up plants? You? Maybe? Doubt it? No, I don't know. He sells mushrooms. Whatever. Guess we're not making that. Just make regular campfires. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we just need a bunch of campfires. No, just like mine a bunch of wood. Is there a bunch of wood somewhere? Where can we get a bunch of wood? Left. Yeah, let's go to the dungeon. Let's go to the dungeon. We go to like the, the corruption over here. We, we might be able to get our hands on some wood. Buy it from the architect. I don't want to spend more money just for wood. The unlimited combat buffs item is overpowered. I feel like everything from Louis AK is overpowered. Quality of life in general is overpowered. So if you use any quality of life mods, you're a cheater, okay? That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. You use magic storage? Cheater. <laughs> use max stack plus? Cheater. Come on. Quality of life equals cheating. <laughs> we have a hundred. Was it ten wood per campfire? We probably don't need that much then. Bro, oh, come on, dude! I just want to break the fucking trees. That this eater of soul, eater of souls, eater, whatever you want to call him. He literally just appeared right here. I saw him. He didn't come from like the pits like the other ones be coming from. He literally just spawned. Right in front of me, I saw him. What a one asshole. <laughs> Thanks for the five bits. What's up, man? Eat good food, quality of life. Yeah, when you eat good food, you're a fucking cheater. IRL cheater. You take the elevator instead of the stairs or the escalator instead of the stairs. That's quality of life right there. You're a cheater. Bro, uh, don't I have torches in here? Is that what I'm missing? Damn, okay. I was about to say. Like, how can I still not make any campfires? Camping tent. We do a temporary spawn point. And, ooh, that's actually a good idea. Hold up. <laughs> we do that. You know, we got a temporary spawn point. We place it somewhere down there. You know, if we die to the wall flesh, boom, we got that temporary spawn point. <laughs> Uber eats his quality of life. Exactly. So this is where we died last time. So that's that's where I'm gonna put it. Oh my god. A lot of enemies. Oh my god, even more enemies. Nope, don't do that. Place at the end of your arena? Okay. Yeah, I'd probably be smarter if I do all the way at the end. Well, I don't know. Maybe we should do like right here. If we do it too far, then it's like what's the point? You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna have an arena to fight him at. I should probably start placing torches everywhere. We're, or not torches. We're gonna place campfires in like the back half. We're not gonna place lanterns in the back half. 
Place a lantern right here, though. Yeah. Oh, the campfire doesn't even reach over here. My god, it's a fist character. You punch things. How do you go through them when you punch them? Hit them. There we go. I, I hate fighting lava slimes. They're one of the worst enemies in the game. So destructive. If you're going to nerf the goddamn clowns, don't you nerf the lava slimes. Come on. It's not fair, right? That's like clownism right there. Racist towards clowns. How come they nerfed the clowns, but they didn't nerf the lava slimes? Like, come on. You can't just do one over the other. Wow, I'm starting to notice some things about the Terraria devs, man. They're clown racist. Who would have thought? It's gonna, you're going to see that in like Yahoo News article. Terraria devs. Or Relogic. The developers of Terraria. Come out as clown racist. We should save the rest of our lanterns, maybe. Probably do one, like, right up here. And then put the last one towards the beginning. Or the, the front of the arena. Kill it, kill it. Damn it. do this how did I hit him <laughs> that dude was like a whole block two blocks underneath me let me kill all these enemies you know get them out of the way so they don't attack me I don't know where it doesn't matter they're just gonna keep on spawning anyways actually no we gotta go buy uh, potions first before we do anything Re Relogic news reveals say that the the their clown racists have every Terrarian shocked. I'm never buying a Relogic game again after the news I've heard. So we have Heart Reach, Thorns. We don't have Regen. We don't have Iron Skin. We don't have Endurance. We have Rage, right? Rage Heart. Oh, we do have Heart Reach. We do have thorns. Uh, I think we're good. I think we still need a better accessory. <laughs> That's still a problem. It's our accessory. I don't know, bro. So no accessory that just gives us like thirty defense. That'd be a nice accessory. Just some defense, bro. Let me get regen again. Probably wouldn't be that bad. Is this expert? Yeah, I always play an expert. I mean, the worm scarf probably wouldn't be too bad. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> I've always heard things about the worm scarf. You know how like expert mode, you know they the damage is upped in expert mode. I always read that like because the damage is up in expert mode, that the worm scarf's passive bonus of reducing damage taken is not really as effective as it could be outside of expert mode. But it's an expert mode item. So pretty much what it's doing is just like it's just flipping the extra mode damage to just be normal mode damage. Okay, not making it that crazy of an accessory. Hey, at least it's cheap to reforge. I don't think I've gotten a warding reforge a single time yet. And I have reforged a lot. At least give me a def defense one. Hardy's pretty good, but. It's no warding. Guarding also pretty good, but it's not warding. Guarding three times in a row. There we go, our first warding reforge. 
That's insane. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So pretty much we're just nullifying the double damage that is being done, which is actually not that bad. So I mean, I'll take it. It's better than taking like double damage. Let's do it. Wall of flesh round. What round is this? Round three, I think. Got our potions at the ready. Somebody pay attention for when I hit buff. Make sure that it uses all the potions. We have like seven potions, something like that. So I should see seven buffs. I'm ready for this one. Put that in there. Just so I can more easily see the buffs. Oh my god, so many bats. I don't want these guys bothering me. Let's do it. I, I want to get out of there. There you go. <laughs> He hurt so much. It's so hard to attack this guy. <laughs> you think it would just be as easy as just holding down left click and facing towards his eyes, but then you do this. Like, what is even going on? Going on right now? Flying all over the place. <laughs> oh my God! What happened to my health bar? Vanished. I gotta build up at least a big enough combo to where I get, you know, my health back. No, no. Get out of there. He does so much damage sometimes. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, if I don't get a combo off when I'm this close, that's really bad because we're not getting our heal. You. <laughs> ah. It hurts, it hurts. It don't hurt that much, though. Oh my god, we finally did it. Loot magnet, where is it? Activate. Delicious loot. We fucking did it, though. Thank god. We don't have to fight him anymore. We prepared the hell. Like We were as prepared as possible. Minus, you know, getting full warding. But there was no way in hell that I was going to sit there and try and farm enough gold to get full warding. A wall of flesh has been defeated. I can't believe it. <laughs> we finally did it. How far does this suck up items? Pretty damn far. <laughs> Unless, no, nah, what the hell? Why is it sucking stars from underneath me? No, pretty damn far. What the hell? <laughs> Where's Twitch partnership? It's in review. I submitted it like two two days ago, July 4th. Can mods be on the Xbox One? No. Not that I know of. Do it again for the loot before hard mode mob spawn. Hell no, I'm not doing that again. Alright, um Orb Flare. I can't throw it, it won't let me throw it. I'll use his elemental orbs as ammo. What the hell is an elemental orb? What was that? There's a fiend about. I heard him. Okay. So that, so that. Keep those. Obviously, always keep the pwn hammer. Legendary breaker blade. Can I do anything with this? Probably not. No. Beautiful. Got an extra accessory slot. Don't even gotta worry about. No run down accessories for frenzy heart. Is it from weapon out? Ooh, permanently grants a new melee healing ability. Damage taking can't be recovered with melee attacks. 
Oh, can be recovered. This is really good. See, this is the cool thing about weapon out in the fist class is that it adds in a lot of stuff for the fist class. <laughs> they make it a lot more viable, you know, as you go up, progress further and further. Like, that's really cool. So now, like, I, do we have to wear the sash? Like, I don't know. I don't know. This is a consumable. And it's a material, too, at the same time. Use antisocial. Why the hell would I use antisocial? Removes effects granted by Frenzy Heart. Thanks for 15 bits. Is, are these bad effects? I don't, why would I want to reverse the effects? The effects seem pretty good. Permanently grants a new melee healing ability. Damage shaking can be recovered with the melee attacks. Yeah, why would I want to reverse that? Strip it. <laughs> why would I want to reverse a good effect? It's like wanting to reverse... Um, the demon heart. Okay. So, wait, who am I talking to? I talk to you. Boom, you give me the goodies. And then, what does this do? Charm of Luck. What's in your inventory? You have a chance getting better reforges. Nice. When do we upgrade this? When we start getting souls, right? Yeah. Oh, no. When we start getting Shroomite. That's a while from now. Thanks for the five bits. You beat the meat hard. Sus. It's a sus message. All right, so now let's do this. Wait, no, it's called Warrior, Warrior, Warrior Emblem. Boom. Upper damage sixty-one. Boom, seventy. Nice. And then that'll be probably our accessories that we rock. You know, until we start getting some more hard, start getting our hands on some hard mode fists, getting our fists on some fists. Yeah, I know what the shield is. I'm the one who. You know, gave the suggestion for that shield. <laughs> I don't really want to use any shields on this character, though. It's no point to. I have my own dashing abilities. What's up, Goku Ghost? Alright. Let me look at something. Let me look at the, the weapon out with wiki. See if we can get our hands on, like, a easy, easy fist. And then uh, if not, I don't know. We'll see. Ray bands. Okay. So we are finally in hard mode. Look at the fists that open to us. Sparring mitt. Adamantite fist. Titanium fist. Strong arm. So obviously that's Martian. That's Golem. This is desert elemental. Whatever fragment. Hidden dragon. I don't know. As you can see, none of these pages are completed, so I can't click on any of them. <laughs> Cobalt Teco. This is one of the earliest we can get, probably. Well, actually, I don't have a Phoenix pickaxe. Uh, Barb Knuckle. That's Chlorophyte for sure. Iced Punch. I don't know. It's probably you know, like a ice piece of ice or whatever the hell it's called. Fragment. Blood Bang. Bang. What is it called? <laughs> I never remember how to pronounce that. Uh, so yeah, sparring mitt. I don't know what we need for a sparring mitt. But it's probably going to be also an easy one to get our hands on. So sparring mitt, sparring mitt and then Teko. Or even Qatar. Sparring mitt. If I can't get my hands on the sparring mitt. Then we'll probably just end off the stream. Because I don't really want to spend a long time trying to get my hands on some stuff. Sparring mitt. Yeah, just six souls of light. We could do it. It's not even that much better. 49. I mean, I guess that's not including any of my buffs that I have. But where can I get some souls of light? Oh, can we buy them? If we could buy them, bro. That would be nice. I gotta sneeze. The sneeze is coming, but will it stay? No. The sneeze, it went away. I don't know what to say. <laughs> what am I doing? Materials? 
Did she not sell it yet? I have to probably be the mech boss. Damn. Okay, well, we're probably not gonna be able to get Souls of Light that quickly then. Because obviously we gotta let the hollowed spread. Let's see if we can find the hollowed at least. I don't even know if I wanna run around the world though looking for the hollowed. I would assume snow biome. Oh wait, we need a break. Let's break altars actually. We gotta get it to spread. Whoa, what the hell? There's a meteor there? <laughs> Damn, that boy's coming quick. It's good, like, fucking 10-piece combo I had to hit him with. We can break all of this, can't we? I don't give a damn if corruption is spreading everywhere. I just want to get my hands on some ores. Who doesn't love some ores? Ooh, that was a combo. That was a good combo right there. All right, well, toss a couple bombs right here. Boom. Mine now. Titanium, nice. Titanium is always better. Like the the new ores. Or I guess I was just not really new. They're kind of old now. But the alternative ores, you know, they're always the better ones to get. Always the better ones to get because they do more damage. Oh man, we have all of the alternative ores. That's perfect. We got palladium, or calcum, and titanium. That means we're gonna get the best of the best. The best of the best. I'm breaking all of these, bro. You know, if my world gets taken over, so be it. So be it. It's gonna be worth it in the end. <laughs> I can mine ores quickly and I don't have to fish. I fucking hate fishing. You know, I've done so much fishing and fishing playthroughs alone. That, like, I don't even wanna do them anymore. I mean, I've done a lot of fishing in the mage playthrough, Dave, David. Ooh, that was a lot of healing. Y'all notice, look at my hearts when I attack things. Maybe it's the only when I take damage. Yeah, look at my hearts when I take damage. What's going on with that? You see that in the top right? Look at my hearts. They do like some weird, weird looking thing. What the heck? Is there a marble biome somewhere? What are you guys doing here? <laughs> where, where are they coming from? Is there a marble biome somewhere? <laughs> They're just popping out of nowhere. Damn, there's so many altars. What the heck? <laughs> Dude, our world is gonna be corrupt next time we play. I should just leave the world AFK and see what happens. This world is gonna be corrupt. Look, there's so much ore so far that like palladium is just chilling down here. Right next to me. Game ready sucks balls. What's up, Robbie? Six of each. Yeah, that's like we at least got like 20. <laughs> Bouncing off of things. We're getting this one. We're getting all of them. Is that a new effect? The heart thing? I have no idea. I'm assuming that's from the uh, the weapon out. Frenzied heart or whatever the hell we broke or activated not broke There's got to be more There's got to be some more altars hidden somewhere like I know they're hidden come on You trying to hide from me? I know there's an altar. I know there's one more somewhere Was that right there? See I knew there was another one hidden somewhere. If we do this last one right here. That's another one of titanium. It's over That's like so much I think it's the last one, like for sure, last one down here. Has to be. We get healed just by punching things now. Like not even after like our long ass combo. Now we get we get healing just for punching something a couple of times. That's a lot of race, yeah. <laughs> To 
contrary approach strat, you uh, space out every bomb you throw so that, you know, they get the maximum distance. Because if you throw all your bombs at once, you're not getting the maximum distance. There we go. So that, that's at least, I don't know, that was, that was a lot. I can't really count it. I, I would say at least like seven or eight of every, of every ore. It like single, like I broke like eight altars for titanium alone, eight for orichalcum alone, eight for palladium alone. Like that's a lot, man. That's a lot. That's goodies in the bag right there. What are these noises? You guys can't hear it, but there is some sexual activity going on next door. I can hear something. I hear just like slamming, like constant slamming. I hear do 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 do. What possibly could be going on? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to make anything. <laughs> I mean, I could check. I could check this. Check the desert real quick, see if it's spreading anything, you know? Because the desert and the snow biome, they're usually the culprits for spreading. But it's looking like now nah, nothing. I could go here. And break even more altars. Should I do it? What do you guys think? <laughs> break even more altars on top of the like 20 we just broke. That, that is. <laughs> if there's no. If there's like. If I don't find ore easily. When I start, start mining for hard mode ores. I'm going to be pissed off. That's how you know I got bad RNG. Just bad luck in general. Oh, damn, look at that. There's some altars down here. What they doing down here? Hold up. What y'all doing down here? <laughs> y'all just chilling down here? They they brought themselves to me. I didn't even know there's altars down here. More? You guys want me to break them? All right. We're going to break all of them. Don't I have an artificial altar? Maybe I should leave one. I'll leave one. My God. How stuck was I? I'll leave this one. Because this one's close to my house. What do they look like they're like purple like rectangles just checking the map all right let's go let's go break the other ones over here to the right altar class slash statue class win coming soon all of them all right we're going for all of them all of them except for that one just in case you know i need one I think we don't we have an artificial altar like I have no idea. I think we have an artificial altar from uh, Louis AFK, right? So we might be able to break all of them. Like completely break all of them. All right. I'm coming for the altars, baby. What's up, altar? Like it's not like a name, like Walter, Alter, my boy Alter. Hold up, you trying to drop curse flames? You know I probably need curse flames. Oh wait, can I? I can buy curse flames actually. I need to stop spam clicking because I could just hold left click to attack. I don't need to keep pressing it. I just keep pressing it though. It's a habit. Oh my god, there's so many altars in this world. There's gonna literally be corruption spreading from like every direction. Corruption, hollowed. It's gonna be like a war. There's so many wraiths everywhere. They mad. Yeah, like I said, if I look at this, it's just like coming up out of nowhere on the surface and stuff. Like, there's no way I'm not going to be able to find all this. Let me kill all these wraiths. Damn, I have a wraith banner already. Oh my god. That means I had to break around 50 altars. Now, I killed a couple wraiths here and there. Just randomly. But if I have a Wraith banner already, that literally means I've killed around 50. Or broken around 50 altars. Imagine you find nothing in your elevator. Shoot. 
series is over. I'm canceling the series if I don't find anything. How long have I been streaming? I wanted to stop like a couple minutes ago. But you know, I'm, I'm interested about breaking all these altars now. Do I not have slime? I do have slime. I'm coming for this altar. He thinks he can hide. Incoming corruption from everywhere. That's what it's looking like. It's worth it. Contaminator alert. Yeah, we probably gotta use a contaminator. If we can find two more altars. What is that? Is that an altar? What is that? <laughs> oh, demonite. If we can find two more altars, though. I kind of want to find two more. Where do you guys think some more altars are? <laughs> I know there's the one in the desert. That's one more. So that would be our calcum. But we need another one. We need another altar so we can get titanium again. But the question is, where is another one? I wish they were a little more permanent. Is that the right word? I wish they showed up a little bit more. I wish everything. Like there was like a key for Terraria you can turn on. Not a key. What's it called? There's another word for it. I don't know what the hell the word is. But yeah. Like, oh my god. There's just Orc Calcum chilling right here. <laughs> what is that? I feel like I would have seen the most altars. Because altars, they have a pretty big glow. Like There might be one over here somewhere. Is that Orc Calcum? Oh, it's Opal. I was about to say. <laughs> I guess I haven't been over here yet. Oh my god, that is Orichalcum just chilling. What the heck? Oh my god. <laughs> There's so much just everywhere. Why does this look like uh, South America, Loki? <laughs> they look like South America. <laughs> What's that noise? Who's splashing around? Okay. We're going to break the one that's over here to the left, alright? And then that that's the last altar, I think. I think. I'm not sure. Has to be. There's no way there's more. How is there more than, like, 50 altars in a world? Like, I just, I don't, I don't think that's how that works. You know, an altar seems like a rare thing, you know? Doesn't seem like a common thing you just find everywhere. Dude, I really want to find one more. Just for Orichalcum. Or not Orichalcum. For uh, Titanium. <laughs> really want one more. Just for Titanium. Just to have it evened out perfectly. You should check with your Dryad. Well, it's still early in hard mode, so I doubt anything is going to be too crazy. Yeah, I doubt that there's any more altars. That might be it. In terms of altars. Break the one near the arena. What one near the arena? Isn't this the one near the arena? Yeah, that has to be it. Oh, I would see any more that are down here. Alright. Let's talk to the Dryad, you know, see, see what the percentages are at. It's only 12% corrupt and 1% crimson. Oh, a lot of work. I, I expect there to be like just adamantite or titanium scattered everywhere. I have no idea what the hell titanium looks like. This is all corruption down here. What's titanium look like on the map? Is that titanium? Zinc? What? <laughs> Whatever. All right. That's going to be the end of the stream. You know, made, made some uh, good progress there. As in we beat the wall of flesh. And we actually were able to fight Turkor. Which is very surprising. 
Very, very surprising. I didn't expect to get Turkor's spawner. But it happened. So shout out to Turkor. <laughs> I'm not going to use antisocial. There's no reason for me to use it. But yeah. Thank you guys for coming for the stream. I will see y'all uh, tomorrow. I think there's going to be a video tomorrow. So uh, I'll, 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 see, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.